Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy you stopped by. Have I got a recipe for you today. Do you guys like spinach artichoke dip as much as I do? Raise your hand. Yes, please. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to make a spinach and artichoke chicken casserole. It's so easy, so quick. We're gonna take a little bit of help from a supermarket shortcut. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. We're gonna need two cups of cooked shredded chicken. I like to use thighs, but breasts are fine. Eight ounces of frozen spinach that I defrosted and got all the water out. A half a block of cream cheese. Some freshly grated mozzarella. A half a teaspoon of onion powder. A half a teaspoon of black pepper. Some garlic, you know I love my garlic in a tube. And I'm gonna, it's equal to about two cloves. Now this is optional, but I like to add a quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Now the, the help from the supermarket is gonna be this spinach artichoke dip. This is the five ounce size. And we're just gonna place that into a large bowl. Then go ahead and add in your softened cream cheese your spinach, your garlic. This is about two cloves, but if you like it a little more garlicky, feel free to add more. Your onion powder and your pepper. And like I said, this is optional, but I like sun-dried tomatoes. It gives it a nice little touch and just go ahead and mix everything up well. And it will look eventually like this. Then go ahead and add in your shredded chicken and just mix that up. Now I swear you guys, I could have just eaten it like this. <laughs> no problem. Now take a square pan Grease it and add your, in your chicken mixture. Now that take your shredded mozzarella. Like I said, this is a little over one cup and I always like to shred it myself. And just sprinkle that over. Now I have my oven preheated to 375. We're gonna bake it for 20 minutes. Then the last five minutes I turned on my broiler and um, browned the cheese on top. And I just added a little extra dried parsley for color on the top, but you don't have to. And here's what it looks like. It's so good, you guys. It's low carb, it's so flavorful, but you can definitely serve it with rice or pasta and a vegetable. It's a great easy weeknight meal. Hope you're gonna try it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everybody.